This is one of those cigars that is different, um, but like a furthering palette type of cigar. When I say different, I mean it's like it needs to be different. There needs to be diversity in what you're trying. There needs to be diversity in what you're smoking. Maybe diversity in the humidor. You get a well-rounded palate. Now, that's like no way around uh, having your favorites or what you want to stock your humidor with all the time. That's definitely a part of the journey. But trying new things and uh, kind of getting a new sense on the palate of new things is part of what we're journeying. Get this lit up. That, it's got some body. Cooper Leaf at its finest, Cuco using the uh, Criollo. Let's talk cigar body strength flavor. You're watching Oakland Tobacconist. So I had this conversation a while ago and I was like, you know what? This is something that I feel like I wish I had known earlier in my cigar journey and something I think other people should know, especially when you're trying new things, trying out certain blends. And of course, with all the limiteds and boutiques and all that stuff out there, this is probably uh, very important because I still struggle with this once in a while and I figured I would offer my opinion. So we're gonna talk cigar strength, cigar body, cigar flavor. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us here on the channel to get the word out. Make certain you drop in your comments about your opinions on this video. If you're interested in the Kuko by Blackbird Cigar Company or the rest of Blackbird's portfolio, head on over to OGT, that's where you'll find it. So I'm smoking what Jonas Santana, blender and owner of Blackbird Cigars, uh, labels as his strongest cigar. From Light Up, there's strength to it. There's a little bit of spice on the palate, it's more on the retro, um, but I, it's not initially what I would think, oh my gosh, this is a heavy cigar. And this is a really good example of what I mean for the difference between body and strength. So I, in the beginning, got a lot confused. I see a lot of people get confused with this and I still have a challenge with it once in a while. I will label something, this is a medium plus the full strength, um, full flavored cigar. Notes that we interpret, our palate interprets as spice or depth, like chocolatey or leather, or some of these heavier barnyard dense flavor notes or sharper cinnamon spice. Um, we perceive that as a palate being this is really strong because it's really flavorful. It coats your palate. Um, and then you have that spice on the retro and you're thinking, man, this is really uh, strong. And then smoke output coats your palate and it completely just bellows smoke. Now, all those things can be contributing factors to a strong cigar. However, it boils down to nicotine content. How much of a punch does this cigar actually have? Much like if you think of coffee, mild roast, medium roast, you feel that cold brew, punch in the gut, punch in your throat, caffeine that gets the shakes going versus something on a mild roast breakfast blend, something like that. It's very light, very easy, very palatable, but it can still be full flavored. Let's take something like a bourbon that is really harsh, that hits you in the back of the throat. There's spice to it. There's heaviness, there's depth to it. It's only 40% alcohol versus something, hey, this could be really smooth, easy on the palate, really good flavor, and that's 52% alcohol. There's a difference in strength level when it comes to alcohol content. Proof, AVB, however you wanna say it. So this Kuko, uh, I would say is, I'm gonna say full flavored, medium body, full strength. And what this cigar does is while it's not punching you, maybe you'll find more spice notes more floral chocolatey notes off of something like the San Andreas Crow that Jonas has blended, he'll still say this is his strongest because what's inside the blend? Even though it might creep up on you a little bit, there's more depth and heavy density to the Kuko cigar, playing off more of that strength than it might would say like on body. Now, here's where we run the difficulty. How many of us has ever heard, oh, that's a full bodied cigar? And we perceive it as that is a full strength cigar. It's a very strong cigar because he said it was full bodied. I'm not gonna lie, I have done that many, many times, and it's in the recent years I've done that, because I just equate same, oh, body, strength, same thing. But it is a difference, because you can categorize different cigars that way, and there's many inside the OGT humidor I would say is full body, medium strength, or full strength, medium body. Exactly like this Kuko right here. 
So it's important to note when you're going forward, you're making recommendations or you're looking for new things on the horizon. 2023 is gonna offer some amazing cigars. You're looking for some new stuff. Bear that in mind. Full flavored, full strength, full body, or mild on all, kind of decide. Because nowadays, when we think of Connecticut cigars, as like an American consumer, we see Connecticut and we think mild strength, mild body, maybe full flavor. There are a lot of full bodied, mild to medium strength Connecticut's out there, and they're worth exploring. And I'm also gonna say this as well. It's also gonna be very interesting 2023 with the OGT Cigar Society, because what we have coming, you're gonna find those inflections. In fact, we have a pretty decently dark cigar coming that you would think, look at it, man, this is gonna kick me down. However, that is a cigar I would say is full in flavor, full in body, medium in strength. It's a really interesting way to learn those diversities, learning those differences of the palate. Make sure you check out OGT Cigar Society, and of course, always continue to check out OGT. Thanks again, as always, for the support and joining me here on the channel. Let me know in the comments what are some particular cigars that are different in body strength and flavor to you. As always, we'll see you next time here on Oakland Tobacconist. Oh,